Maybe if I had some cat, he'd stop running away. <laughs> you got no chance! You retail rat! I have to get Ryoichi's cane back. Why won't you quit? style. El Jefe was defeated, disgraced, and delivered to the cops. But it was a hollow victory. I'd failed to get back Ryuichi's cane, and we still had no idea who was really behind this whole thing. One thing was for sure, it was somebody powerful enough to have his own private army. We contacted Dimitri for an update on the Thievius Raccoonus, and it looked like Tennessee Kid Cooper needed our help next. That meant we needed to travel back to the 1880s. Luckily, one of the goons that took Ryuichi's cane had dropped what looked like an old sheriff's badge. Bentley had been trying to figure out where it might be from, but now it all made sense. After sampling the badge, Bentley was able to calibrate the time machine. As we prepared to make the jump back to the Old West, I found myself wondering how Carmelita was doing. We arrived in the Wild West, looking for my ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper, a legendary outlaw whose bank robberies were some of the most daring in Cooper lore. When we arrived, it took some time to locate him, but we eventually found him in prison. His arrest was the handiwork of the local sheriff, who had celebrated by posting his own picture all over town. Talk about an ego. We needed to bust Tennessee out of jail. But after some furious calculations, Bentley determined that the best way to do that 
was from the inside. For the first time in my career, I was going to have to let the law catch me. This could be a real challenge. Get myself arrested? I trust you, Bentley, but I'm not sure about getting locked up in this town. Sorry, Sly. It's the only way we're gonna reach Tennessee in time. There's just one problem. They're holding Kit Cooper in the maximum security wing. To get yourself thrown in there, you're gonna have to gain outlaw status. So you need to make sure you build a rep before they catch you. Otherwise, they'll throw you in with the common criminals. Ugh. You mean like jaywalkers and litterbugs? Not gonna happen. Well, around these parts, it's probably more like goat thieves and tobacco spinners. But you get the point. For starters, why don't you try defacing all those posters of the sheriff around town? That ought to put a burr under his saddle. Get it? Because we're in the Old West? Well, anyway, I'll just let you get started. Find a poster, make it look goofy, and move on. Just like junior high. I'd buy that one. Not for sale. It's Puny Greenhorn. I bet the original artist damaged his vision staring at this guy. Oh, he's going to hate that one. Let's hope so. I call it counterfeit curry. <laughs> If I was as homely as this guy, I would not hang my picture everywhere. Excellent work, Sly. I wish I could tear them down. Here's Weakling of the West. I don't think Vane begins to describe this guy. Looking good, Sly. It's an improvement. I'll name this one the Homely Buckaroo. Sheriff puts up posters of himself. Nice work, Sly. You're a regular Picasso. 
I love a challenge. I call it 10 Star Loser. <laughs>